Hey guys, I've been wanting to talk about this for a little while now, but I never really got around to it. I want to show you guys in this video how you can get the standard of Claude code at 10 times less the price. Let's jump into it. So obviously Claude code for me is the best AI coder, but not everyone has $200 a month to throw at AI code that may or may not work. Arguably, a lot more people have $20 a month and you may already be paying for ChatGPT, right? If you are paying $19.99 for ChatGPT every single month, you actually have access to Codex. Now I'm gonna tell you quickly guys, in my opinion, Codex works best inside the Visual Studio Code extension. The way that I do this is you could pay for ChatGPT, which is $19.99 a month, and then maybe get the Claude Code uh, Pro plan, which is also $19.99 a month, right? You don't even need this necessarily. You could use open code or with a really cheap model or whatever. You just need some kind of CLI coder, maybe even um, Codex CLI, right? Just to run your commands, run your shell commands, everything like that. Now, obviously Codex here can do that, but it doesn't work that well in my opinion. So this coder here is actually pretty much as good as Claude code in my opinion, right? So I don't really know why no one is talking about this. Everyone is obsessed with Gemini 3.0 and Claude. But to be honest with you, GPT 5.1 Max, this one here, this model here, what's it even called? GPT 5.1 Codex Max with ultra thinking on extra high thinking. I never hit rate limits, right? Let's just see if we can see the rate limits. I saw this before. Um, let me just see if I can see any rate limits. I think it might be in here. Um, yeah, it's here, rate limits remaining. So in f I've, I don't know if I've used or I have 77% of my five hour limit remaining and 66% of my weekly limit remaining, which resets tomorrow. I've used this to code like for hours and hours and hours, guys. I'm not even kidding, like literally hours and hours and hours. This says upgrade to pro. I'm pretty sure I am on the pro plan. Oh, okay. I'm on the plus plan, I'm pretty sure. So just for $19.99 a month, you actually can get the power of Claude code. So just to mention guys, I do talk about this inside my school community, inside Cheap Vibe Coding, right? I talk about Codex specifically because I'm not really sure why, but nobody seems to actually wanna talk about this. The fact that you can pay $19.99 a month and have something that is as good as Claude code, and then the really cool thing is you can pop up Claude here as well. I'm not sure why Claude is no longer here. Uh, so yeah, what I've been doing recently is using Codex for like its raw coding ability and then jumping over to Claude Code to run commands for me. Obviously I have a Claude Code Max plan. You do not need the Claude Code Max plan to make this work. You could get away with the Pro plan. You could use something else as well. You could use Klein or whatever. Um, or even just using Codex or uh, Codex CLI as well. Honestly, it codes as well as Claude. I'm not even kidding. In my opinion, it codes as well as Claude. Like it did this entire massive plan. What I did was I got Claude code to make a plan, right, on plan mode. And then I got Codex to execute the plan. And then I got Claude code to fix the execution from Codex. That actually worked pretty well. Um, it didn't perfect it. I was working on PostForge, which obviously you guys may or may not be familiar with PostForge. PostForge.ai is just a site that I've um, I've been working on, like a project. It did a pretty good job of what I wanted it to do. It wasn't perfect. Uh, let's just see if I still have this running. So yeah, I was trying to make this like calendar of content uh, with an agentic flow. It didn't fully one-shot it, but I mean, it did most of it, to be honest with you. And this was mainly Codex that did this, right? And then just cleaning up like the AI calls, etc., with Claude as we go. And yeah, I mean, it, it's done, it did a pretty damn good job. Now this entire setup would be 40 bucks a month instead of 200 bucks a month, right? And I've been talking about this for a while. It's just, it, uh, no one really seems to get the message. Like I keep talking about this. It's just right now in the AI space, like Claude, good, Gemini, good, OpenAI, bad. That, that's basically all that I'm seeing. So yeah, guys, like I said, this is already in the school community alongside a lot of other stuff. Um, 
if you do need some help with AI coding and AI augmented coding and vibe coding, things like that, definitely check out this cool community. It will be in the description of this video and in the pinned comments. I'm just going to leave the video there, guys. This was just a quick one to mention that you can code with Claude Code Standard, Opus 4.5 Standard for $19.99 a month using Codex. And obviously, with the latest GPT model about to drop, I would be very surprised if they don't drop GPT 5.2 Codex as well. Um, but yeah, it, it's not actually out yet. Apparently, it was um, pushed back for whatever reason. It's giving people an infinite amount of content to make. Um, but I would be very surprised if they don't also release GPT 5.2 Codex. And right now, as I said, in the AI race, um, everyone hates OpenAI, right? So what OpenAI is doing is they are burning cash, right? OpenAI is burning cash to bring people to their code. Everyone is using Claude Code. Everyone and their grandma is using Claude Code. Claude Code is the, the good one, the fun one. Gemini, CLI, everyone loves it. It's amazing. It's incredible. But, you know, you have to pay quite a lot of money. What? OpenAI is doing is they're saying, look, $19.99 a month, uh, a month, you can use it pretty much like more than Claude Code uh, can be used for this price. Um, we'll burn money, don't worry, just come and use it so that we can say that we have more users on our coding tool than Anthropic. That's their goal. They don't care about money right now. They care about users. All they want is as many users as possible on their Codex coder. And the only way to do that right now is to give an impossibly good model for a very, very reasonable price, which is exactly what they're doing. So if you're still in this question of should I upgrade to the $200 plan for Claude Code? What should I do? Blah, blah, blah. Give Codex a try. Like I said, I use it in Visual Studio Code. I don't use the CLI. I just haven't found the CLI to be very good. And then Claude Code on the side to fix things, to run things, to push things. Just to be my little virtual assistant. Look at him. He's just waiting to waiting to help me. The little crab is just waiting to help me. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school community, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.